team, how are we going? I hope you're having the most amazing day. I'm just kind of curious as to how long it's going to take me for me to be free from the fact that I sit in the when I go live, considering it's but the door's open, so hopefully I'll be okay and I'm not going to overheat. I just wanted to come on and I wanted to have a bit of a chat about spiritual bypassing today. And today on my client sessions this has come up a couple of times and so I just want to kind of touch on this a bit give a bit of my perspective and let me just share this please say hi as you jump on or let me know if you're watching the replay okay so okay I really feel like I'm getting too hot I just might move back a little bit where have I got my phone something white is on my face I'm like what is this Oh, it's a bit of fun. Anyway, okay, so I've titled this today, Spiritual Bypassing Won't Get You What You Want. And the reason I've really titled it this is because I think it can be so easy, it can be so tempting to ignore how you feel, to ignore what's really going on, to ignore what's coming up for you, and just kind of tell yourself, you know, like, I don't even need to look at that, I don't need to think about that, I'm just going to pretend everything's great, everything's well, and I'm going to try and create. And... Uh, I wanted to talk to that because there's so much, there's so many people when we talk about manifesting kind of shouting out, just be positive, just focus on what you want, don't ignore what's coming up. And I kind of wanted to give my take on that today because that can be really valid, can be really valid, but often it just causes more problems. And I'm going to talk about that in terms of, in terms of a family, okay? And I want you to kind of think, as though everything you want, everything you want to create is kind of like having the desire to have a really happy family, okay? Stick with me as I explain this analogy, okay? And so I want you to imagine that you are yourself and you've got a couple of children around you, okay? You've got a couple of children around you. And as your family, you want that whole family to work well together. You want everyone to get on well. You want everyone to be happy, okay? If you've got a happy family, that is when you get what you want, okay? When everyone in your family feels really happy and in a good space, that is when you get your reward, okay? So that's what we're going to play with today. So if you're wanting to call in love, when everyone in your happy family feels good, you get love. Or if you're wanting to call in money, whenever you're wanting to call in money, when everyone in your happy family is happy, you get money. Now, the reason I'm putting it this way is because... Everyone who's watching this live stream, I'm sure at some stage in your life, you've been around children. You've been around children who are not in a good space, okay? Give me an emoji if you've done that. Like, I used to be a teacher, so trust me, I get this stuff, okay? You're around children who aren't in a good space. Now, if you're around a child, if you're around a child who's not really that happy, or you can just tell that something's slightly off, just a wee bit off, Okay, so within a few minutes, this child's just suddenly feeling a bit out of sorts. Like, you just tell that something's really off with them. What's the best way to make that child happy? If something's slightly off, okay? If that person's slightly off, it might feel really good to kind of just reach out to that child and just say to that child, hey, it's all good. I've got you. I'm here for you. We can do this. I've got you, okay? If someone's slightly off, if someone's a wee bit upset, Reaching out to them and saying, hey, it's all good. I've got you. We can do this. It's going to make them feel a lot better, isn't it? Right? However, what we do, if someone's slightly off, if something's slightly off in your life, if a child is slightly upset around you and you say to it and you just ignore it or you yell at it, what's going to happen that child when that child's a bit upset? If you don't turn to it and say, hey, I've got you, it's going to be okay, a child's a bit upset, and you just completely ignore it or you yell at it, that child, chances are, is probably going to get more and more and more and more and more upset, okay? If a child's got something really going on for it and you ignore the shit out of it, you've got some problems in your hand, okay? You've got a big problem in your hand, okay? And so often, this is exactly what happens when we manifest, Right? When our family's happy, when all the children are happy, we're going to create. But what happens is, say right now, you're wanting to 
to really expand your business. You're wanting to blow it up. You're wanting to really make a lot of money. But you've got children around you. You've got parts of you around you that are really upset. You've got parts of you that are feeling worried, that are feeling fearful, that are feeling doubt, and who are kind of silently crying around you. And if you ignore those children, if you go, no, 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 like, stop, I don't care that you're crying, I'm going to ignore you, I'm not going to focus on you, I'm just going to keep going and going and going, how freaking happy is your family going to be? If you guys, if anyone who's watching this, by the way, I don't know if comments are working or not, say hi as you're jumping on, because I know comments weren't working at all yesterday, I may even have a look on my phone, just to see. Um, but if you, if you guys have ever had children, if you ignore children who are really, really unhappy and really, really upset... You're going, to, you're going to have a problem in your hands. You're going to have a big problem in your hands very soon. And so what I see is people trying to move forward, trying so hard to create stuff, when actually they don't feel good. They don't feel good. They don't feel happy. They don't feel focused. They don't feel inspired. They feel really, 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 really over it. Right? They feel really, really over it. They're not at all in alignment with it. And what they believe, because they're watching this, they're watching other people and they say, if I want to get to my goal, if I want to manifest, if I want to create, hey, gorgeous lady, if I want to create, if I want to bring this into pass, they tell themselves, I just need to ignore what's going on. I need to ignore me being upset. I need to ignore those parts of me that are really, really struggling because that's not okay. And what I want you to imagine that if a family is trying hard to be a happy family, to really be a really healthy, emotionally really happy family. You're not going to get a happy family by ignoring it when the kids are upset. You're not going to be a happy family by turning to an upset kid and saying, shut up and go away. That does not create happy families. If you tell a kid to shut up when it's really, really upset, it's not going to work. Like, it's just not going to work. That kid's going to get more and more and more and upset. So what I want you to recognize, if your goal, whatever you're heading towards, if you believe that telling yourself off, that shutting down the parts of you that are upset, that ignoring the voices inside of you that are really, really freaking out, and never, ever giving them any attention, and telling yourself you're wrong, and telling yourself that they shouldn't be there, and telling yourself you're failing when they're struggling, if you believe that that is the way to go, you're pushing your desire away from you. Okay, this doesn't mean, okay, if I go back to the family thing, if a child's just a wee bit upset and it's like, it's just starting to get upset and you turn to that part of you and say, I see you're trying to get upset, but it's okay, I'm here for you and we're going to be okay. Often that child will completely knock back into gear, right? It will completely be like, sweet, I don't need to be upset. Why? Because it's being supported. It's being loved. If that child's a wee bit upset and you go, you're an idiot and you're stupid, you've got a problem on your hands. And yet this is what you do to yourself. When you're feeling doubt, or you're feeling anxiety, or you're feeling fear, and you go a wee bit like, oh, oh, you turn to yourself, and you're, oh my god, I'm such an idiot, why am I so upset about this, I shouldn't be so upset, and you tell yourself off, and you punish yourself, and you say, look, I'm never going to manifest this, because I'm such a failure, and everything's going wrong, and then you wonder why you don't create. We don't get where we want to go by hating ourselves and punishing ourselves and pushing ourselves down and telling ourselves we're not good enough. We just don't get there. We never get there, okay? When we say to ourselves that we're fucked up and we're a mess and we're not good enough, we actually take ourselves more and more and more out of alignment. We take ourselves further away from what we're trying to create, okay? And th but this is what I see so often. I see people that when they're really struggling and when they're feeling a lot of doubt, they're ignoring their emotion and saying, no, 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 no. If I want to manifest, I've got to pretend I'm not feeling that way. This is like, if, you, if you're feeling strong emotion and you're pretending not to feel it, everything you actually really feel is creating your reality. So you might be pretending that a child's not screaming behind you. It's still ruining your day, okay? It's still ruining your day. You might go, I'm just going to ignore this child in my ear. You might tell yourself you're ignoring it and focus on something else. But that child's still behind you, and that child is still ruining your day, okay? And this is what I want you to realize. You're not serving yourself. You are not serving yourself by ignoring what you are feeling. Sometimes when that fear comes up, sometimes when that doubt comes up, all it needs, all that little child needs is for you to turn to it and say, 
I see you, I see you're worried, it's okay, I've got you, come here, I'll show you the way. Sometimes it needs three seconds, you have a fear, like I have fears, oh my god, I have fears that pop up all the time. I have a fear that comes up, oh my god, maybe I'm not good enough. I don't say, oh, I'm such an idiot. I turn to that part of me and say, it's okay, because you're doing really good work, it's going to be all good. And that child is suddenly calm, that child feels good, that child feels supported, that child feels happy to move forward. I just feel there's so much going on in the world right now and we just believe so often that we need to punish our way there, that we're getting it wrong, that if we feel negative emotion and we feel stressed or we feel overwhelmed, we're not good enough and we're not worthy and we're never going to achieve. And the thing is that anger and that frustration and that desire to push aside what's actually going on is most of the time the exact thing that's causing you not to create. It's actually not the resistance itself. It's your resistance to looking at what's actually going on for you, right? And the thing is, often it can feel confronting. Often it can feel confronting to turn to that part of us and say, what's actually going on? What doubts do you have? But if you ignore that child, it's going to get worse. It's going to be your day. It's good. If you ignore a child who's really, really upset, it's never going to end well. Like, it's just not going to end well. That child is going to keep yelling at you until you finally look at it. And that's exactly the same with your resistance. If right now you've got a shit ton of resistance around your business, you feel so doubtful, you feel so worried, you feel like nothing's working out, if you just ignore that, and you think, well, I'm just going to ignore that part, I'm just going to keep going and working, like 80 hour weeks, cool, 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 you're really not going to manifest anything. You're not going to create any different. Like, you're just not. Your energy is filled with that stuff that you're ignoring. You might be acting like it doesn't matter, but it's still there. It's still there screaming in your ear. If you don't feel any different, you're not going to create any different. And trust me, this was when I really got really honest with myself a while ago about this. This was an absolute game changer in my business, an absolute game changer, because what I noticed is that there's so many people who are so good at being optimistic. Yay, everything's going well, awesome, let's go, let's continue. And actually, deep down, they're filled with doubt, they're filled with worry, they're filled with anxiety. And what I feel like a lot of people really need to hear right now is there are a lot of people showing up online and you might look at them and say, wow, you're so successful, who actually aren't succeeding. There's a lot of fakeness online, there's a lot of things that are taken out of the taken the wrong way people are perceiving that everything's going really well and often we can look online and we can compare ourselves and think oh man I'm just not doing well okay but the thing is we can be so optimistic hey gorgeous man we can be so optimistic we can be so yay everything's really great but you can be as bloody optimistic as you want you can be as so optimistic and always focus on the good things and la di la di la di la di la I don't care how optimistic you are if you, deep down, do not feel good about what you're trying to create, you are not going to be creating what you want. And so when we talk to ourselves and we punish ourselves and we tell ourselves we're not good enough and we're screwing up and everything's wrong and we just keep fucking up, that's not helping us feel good about certain things. That's not helping us feel better. That's not helping us feel motivated. That's not helping us feel more in alignment. And somehow we just believe, though, but if I just ignore it or if I just punish myself or tell myself I'm doing really badly and ignore that part of me, of course I'm going to create. It's not how it works. It's not how it works. And so what I really want to do today is I just want to invite you to listen to the children around you that are crying. Listen to the parts of you that feel afraid, that feel doubtful, that feel worried. Because this is what I realize every single time I play with this myself. Every single time I go into fear and I stop and I listen and I really hear out what's going on for me. I realize that my perception of fear, I realize that what I thought was a problem or something that seemed so scary and overwhelming that I was avoiding, when I really sit down and listen to it with kindness and with no judgment, I realize that very quickly it shifts. Very quickly my resistance goes, ah, oh, okay then, that's all good. That's not real, I can go now. But if I fight it, if I turn to that kid and go, you're an idiot and you're really stupid, yeah, that problem gets worse. That problem gets a lot worse. If I turn to it and go, hey, I see you and it's okay and I've got you, let's talk, I'm here for you. Sure, I might sit with it for five or 10 minutes and just have a wee bit of a, a bit of a connection time, right? 
and then it goes and I can move forward. The way to move forward is to bring all of your parts on board. The way to move forward is to feel good about what you're creating. You can't do that if you're punishing yourself there. You can't do that if you're beating yourself up. You can't do that if you're telling yourself you're not good enough and you're a failure and everything's going wrong. Does that make sense? Are you guys understanding what I'm getting at here? Imagine your fear is a wee child. Don't ignore it. Don't punish it. Don't tell it it's an idiot. Listen to it. What's, what's on your mind? What's on your mind? What are you worried about? Because that's simply what fear is. Fear is, kind of imagine, you know when a child gets really upset, okay? A child can get upset when it's worried about something because it's seen something as not like it, how it really is. Or it's got like a wee bit of the story and it's run with it, right? A child can often get upset because it's blown something far out of proportion. That's just what your fear is. Your fear is a bit like, oh, I'm really worried because this might happen. And, and really, when you listen to it and you talk to it, you might say, oh, that's not going to happen. No, that's okay. Because I can control what I do moving forward. And I know that's just worry. That's just not what could possibly go wrong. That's not real. When we really listen to what's going on for us, when we do it with love and kindness, and we care for, we hold that wee part of us close, we feel so much better. It's so much easier to get back into alignment. It's so much easier to get back into alignment. And just, I just see so many people right now who are pretending that everything's really great. And they're like, everything's amazing and everything's going really well and da da da, da and everything's great. The thing is, if everything's really good in your life in a certain area, you'll be manifesting amazing things over and over and over and over and over and over again. If everything is not manifesting and nothing is being created and nothing is moving forward at all, there's resistance there. And if you're kind of going, no, 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 I'm just going to keep going and going and going and not look at it, it's not going to change anything. It's not going to shift anything. Okay, babe. But it's just not going to shift anything. If you ignore your reality when things aren't working, if you're like, no, I'm just going to act all great and ignore it and not ever look at it, not ever shift this energy and not ever clean this up, things aren't going to change. You're not going to create any differently. Cool. And this is exactly why everyone's like, oh my God, Emma, like, why do your clients get such amazing results so quickly? That's so weird. And I respond and I say, no, well, when you don't have resistance, everything comes into your experience. What I do with people is help actually look at the resistance and release the resistance that they have to getting what they want. I don't bypass. I don't go like, okay, this is what I, I see like rejected a lot out there. Is if you're not getting what you want, all you need to do is visualize it more or write about it more. When actually... If an area of your life is all blurry, if you're in a space of doubt and anxiety and worry, for example, if you're in a space of doubt and worry about your business and you're constantly stressing about money, if you just ignored all of that and visualized every day and wrote about how great your business was and you never actually looked at how you really feel about your business, the energy's not going to shift there. Like the energy's not going to shift there. If you spent 10 minutes in the day being like, visualize, business is going so well write down, business is going so well, and then you went and lived your life, and every single time you thought about your business, you freaked out, and you thought you weren't good enough, and you had all these doubts, your dominant energy around your business is not in alignment with what you want, you're not going to create any differently, that's bypassing, you're like, yay, I'm going to try and make my life like this, oh shit, all this stuff, oh no, why won't it go, I'm just going to pretend it doesn't exist, it's like going through mud and pretending the mud's not there, Right? We can't create, we can't create insane results, huge shifts without actually helping ourselves move through that stuff. Your resistance is here to show you what needs, that, that child is screaming behind you saying, listen to me, hear me, soothe me, and then you can have what you want. Right? We don't get there by ignoring ourselves. We don't get there by ignoring our emotions. We don't get there by ignoring reality. And this is what I feel like is so often preached. Be really happy, ignore what's going on, just pretend like you're really happy. I'm sorry. If you're a freaking parent, if you're a teacher, if you've got a child around you and it's yelling at you, you can try and ignore it. For like two minutes, you're like, I'm just not going to ignore this thing yelling at me. 
but it's going to be driving you crazy. It's going to be affecting you. It's going to be screwing up your day. It's going to be screwing up your manifestations, right? Wouldn't it be easy if you stop trying to run from the problem, you stop trying to run from that voice that was worried and sad and scared, you sat down with it and said, what's going on? I'm going to soothe you. I'm going to make you feel better. And then I can get on with my life. And then I can enjoy my day. Then I can go and create. Is this making sense, guys? Is this making sense? It can be so tempting. Like, trust me. I spent a lot of time ignoring my reality. I spent a lot of time being like, yeah, everything's really great. Really good. I did, it, it did not get me very far at all. It did not get me very far at all. And actually, I'm actually... I know that this is an old pattern of mine. And so I can often, even when I'm in a space of like being in resistance, I can often be like, yeah, I'll do that later. I'll look at that later. And I always know. I like literally know. Every time I say I'll look at that later and I'll do that later, I push it away. I know that nothing is going to manifest. I know this. Nothing will manifest in my life in that area until I sit down with that child, until I clear that resistance. I know that. I know that for a fact. <laughs> but even me, I'll be like, sometimes, oh, yeah, no, I'll, I'll sort that later. Like, I journal on it later. I'll, I'll, I'll clear that later. I'll have that conversation later. And then when I actually do, and I sit down, and I, ha I look at what's actually going on for me and how I'm really feeling with love and kindness and move it, as soon as I leave that, I feel so much better. And within hours, things manifest. Things come through. Because the only thing that's ever stopping something being created in our reality is us and our resistance around having it. Right? It's like it's like you wanting to have a peaceful house and there's a child screaming right next to you and you're like, I'm going to have a peaceful house by ignoring that child. Yay! Like, that's what optimistic thinking is without actually looking at what's going on. When clearly, if we want a peaceful house and we've got screaming children, the best thing to do is go and talk to and love on and make them feel better, the children, so then they calm down. Does that make sense? Is this making sense, guys? We can't get where we want to go without actually looking at what's truly going on, okay? We can't just, like, if you actually care about something that you're trying to manifest, if this is something that's active in your experience, for example, money, business, love, your body, if you believe you're going to get these things by ignoring your reality and ignoring how you're really feeling and pretending they don't exist, it is going... Good luck. It's going to be really, 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 really hard. Really hard. Amazing manifestations comes when you actually look at an area of your life, you take it, you love on it, you shift your energy, you feel better in it, and then you live your life. Ignoring your reality does not work. It doesn't work. If it's actually something you care about that's in your experience day to day, it's bloody difficult. It's bloody difficult. Okay, so look at what's really going. Look at oh, look at look at what's really going on. Look at how you're really feeling about things. Look at what you're really worried about. Talk to that part of you. Shift that energy so you leave feeling like, man, I feel so much better. I feel so much more open. I feel so much more excited. I feel so hurt. I feel so loved. I feel so grounded. I feel so calm. Now I can go and live my life. Because most of the thing that causes most of the resistance is just unexpressed emotion. Oh, it's Ben's phone. Like, Ben's gone for a run. I kind of want to make it shut up. Anyway, <laughs> it's probably going to be one of Ben's um, criminals. Um, he's a criminal defense lawyer. I was suddenly like, what is this noise? So, yeah. So what I'm pretty much trying to say is that you're not going to get where you want to go by ignoring what you're really feeling. You're not. One of, yeah, the main thing that causes resistance is emotion that you actually won't let out. Like, that's it. When we feel off about something and we pretend we don't feel off about it, no, nah, I'm totally fine. That child gets freaking angry. It gets worse. It gets, ah, tantrum until you can't ignore it anymore. But often, we try and try and try. I'm just going to keep ignoring you. We think, oh, well, if I just keep ignoring this, eventually it will calm down and feel better. It just doesn't work. It gets more and more and more and more angry. So if you want to get what you want, really connect to the parts of you, really connect to how you feel, notice how you feel, because you can ignore the fact that you feel bad, it will still make you manifest nothing until you move it, it will still muck up your manifestations, it will still be really active in your experience, and it will still, 
it will still kind of screw with your energy. Or you can sit down, you can sit down with the children if you've been there the whole time, I don't know what the children, sit down with the children, what the heck's going on guys, let's love you, let's support you, let's help you, and then you can move forward. Don't ignore what's going on for you. Don't ignore. Even if it's simple as you notice a part of you is going into fear and you stop and say, I don't need to go, it's okay, I've got you, but I'm going to support you, it's all good, we're going to keep going. If fear comes at me, no, 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 I'm not allowed to think about that. Uh, oh no, fear's not allowed, fear's not allowed. You've got to be creating more fear. Make time to hear yourself, make time to listen to yourself, make time to love yourself, make space for yourself. If you do this, if you truly make time to shift the energy, you'll start manifesting completely different stuff within hours. You will. But you don't do that by ignoring things. You don't do that by pretending they're not there. If you feel feel it, it's still there. I hope that made sense. If you did want to hear more about my one-to-one -one programs that I've got open, a few spaces that are open now, open right now in my business one-to-one -one programs to expand your business, make a shit ton more income, have a bigger impact, just send me a message and I will talk to you about those guys. But I'm going to go and have my lunch, even though it's quarter past four in the afternoon. I've had a busy day. <laughs> and I will see you guys really soon. Bye, team.